Okay, so now Matt was able to solve that last problem, and he was able to get this answer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solve both of these um, using the summation notation that's involved in both of them. And if we're right, if this answer was right, then the answer we get from this should be the same as the answer we get from this. So let's go ahead and solve both of these out and verify that, 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 uh, that we did this right. So, for this one, this is where we need to plug in the 3 into the equation, and then we need to plug in 4, and then finally we plug in 5 into the equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to plug in 3 into each of these variables, k, right here. So we got 3 squared plus 2 times 3 minus 3, and then we can plug in 4. So I'll do an equal sign. We'll do 4 squared plus 2 times 4 minus 3 is equal to that. And then finally we plug in the 5. Okay, so those are the three things that we need to sum together. So let's go ahead and get these answers. So this is 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 3 is 12. This is 16 plus 8 is 24 minus 3 is 21. This is 25 plus 10 is 35 minus 3 is 32. So when you sum these together, you get uh, 65. So if we get 65 over here, we should be good. So let's go ahead and try this out. So here, our re-index is 1 to 3. So we're going to plug in 1, 2, and 3 into this equation. So we're going to get 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 5. We're going to get 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 5. And finally, 3 squared plus 6 times 3 plus 5. So 1 squared is 1 plus 6 is uh, 7 plus 5 is 12. So that is the same as that, so so far so good. 2 squared is 4, plus 6 squared is, so this is 12, so 4 plus 12 is 16, plus 5 is 21. So this is the same as that, good so far. This is 9 plus 18, that's 27, plus 5 is uh, 32. So that's the same as that, so of course this will add up to 65. So in this case, we're right. Both of these answers, uh, both of these answers are the same, so therefore we re-index correctly, and we must have done this problem correctly. So that's how you do a little bit more of uh, a little bit of a more advanced problem than the basic one we did in the last video. And then next, we're going to try a much more advanced problem where you have to do all four of the properties that we talked about in the first video.